capoeira, people don't really understand what it is until you actually see it and then even experience it. Uh, because to explain it and say, oh, it's a fight, oh no, it's a dance, oh yeah, and then we do like, you know, different kinds of like acrobatics, and then yeah, there's singing and there's like instrument playing because there's really nothing else to compare it to. So although it is that martial art aspect and you have the technique and the strategy, you know, but it's also a game. And then it's also the music, right? That's also inspiring and also that, you know, as you go up into your level of graduation, you know, these are all things that do come full circle. So it's a tripart martial art, art, I guess, you know? And so, um, I mean, tying all of that together is important and you, you can't have capoeira without the music and the singing you know and you know the other way around you know so you have to have the technique the 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 aesthetic of the game uh, but also that community feeling of the singing and and the music aspect so capoeira in my view should be a lesson for all those people who keep fighting a about everything in life, you know what, just, just just play some capoeira together and see that your differences are not so different like that. People tend to compare to other martial arts, or compare to other dance, or compare. but once we start comparing, we are comparing one aspect of capoeira and not the whole diversity of capoeira. And that diversity is what makes everybody somehow connect, because there's something there that, that belongs to you or you belong to that. Fight capoeira is, is just one aspect of it, mm -hmm. dance capoeira, but a game, a game could be a friendly game, a challenging game, an aggressive game. So the game kind of covers all the different nuances that you can have on that. So we play capoeira. It evolved, it's an art, art evolves. It is an art that evolved to what we have, and it's still evolving, mm -hmm. but evolved to what it is today. But it has this great history that needs to be a fight without looking like a fight, that has to be disguised, and that's part of the essence. And it is a blend of the diversity of the culture from different people. So, so, so the, the diversity needs to be welcomed because that's part of the history. The slaves brought to Brazil from different tribes, different cultures, different, and they were placed intentionally in a way that they would not have a bonding element. And, and sometimes from enemy tribes. And they start you know, learning from each other. I have a dance, she has a, a, a fight, you have a singing. And, and that is how they, they start bonding and creating a sense of community identity. So to survive the loneliness of, of being you know, brought from Africa and made a slave. Then you, once you start having the, the urban contest and slaves and post-slaves, you no know, displacement, no job options and all this. They had a lot of free time. So they would gather and, and, and start you know, practicing whatever is a blend of what they did. Really simplifying. And then, you know, you have the need of the fans. You have the, the, the need of, of, you know, people actually asking for their service because they were good fighters or no. And then they start practicing some sort of fight or they have the persecution, police going after them and then they need to fight. So the social need of the moment has resulted in, in an art form that had a need of defense, but at the same time a need of disguise. So it was not known that they could defend themselves. It was persecuted. If they knew that you were a capoeirista, you could go to jail because it became illegal for a, a, a period of time. So, so you know, they didn't want the, that population to be able to fight against them. So it became illegal. But if you're just dancing, then we're not doing anything bad. <laughs> so in the game of capoeira, yes. So so what you're seeing is it, it's a controlled way of playing the game, right? Because if we just want to fight, you know, and we defend ourselves, right? Then that takes away the whole ideal of that interaction that needs to happen between me and you. Right, so I don't want to go in playing and just automatically think attack and fight, and then you go down, I go down. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Right, so you know that's why there's the music and and, and the instruments because you really do have to uh, embody, you know, um, again the essence of what the game is. And not to say that you know, like Yara had said, that there are those different types of games that you can play. 
okay? But it can't be all the time because then it does take away, you know, the beauty of what capoeira is. Because capoeira has something that I think honestly the world needs today, which is this welcoming to the differences, is the respect to all in the same way, is whatever you give to me, I give back to you. And no, without preconceptions. No, and that's something that doesn't matter how much people try to, to destroy that in the world, that's what keeps us bonded and growing and evolving and caring for each other. You know, we may have a lot of difference, but at the end we have an essence that is common to everybody. And no, and, and Capoeira teaches us that. So I know Capoeira will survive, and I think Capoeira could be a great lesson to everybody, but I don't think we can know where Capoeira goes.